Hi guys, how would you like to be able to cure 99% of your health issues in five days and it costs you nothing? You can see exactly how my journey goes. After each day, I'm gonna weigh myself. I'm also gonna talk about how I feel and what's going on with my body. There are so many different aspects of fasting that it's just too numerous to list. A few of them obviously are weight loss, there's also, too, the benefits of autophagy, which is cell regeneration. Helps to regenerate mutated cells and also to knock out some of those cancerous cells and different things that are going on inside your body. It helps to increase your immune system, which is extremely important in these trying times. And it also, too, helps to regenerate brain cells. Amazing. Everybody needs a couple more of those, especially me. So let's hop right into this and you can follow me on this journey through five days of fasting. On my journey, I'm going to do two things and two things only, water and tea. I'm going to have water, lots and lots of water each day, along with pu'er tea, a black tea in the morning, green tea, heavy in antioxidants and also to a, a appetite suppressant. And then going to go on to valerian root in the evening which is a calming tea, a tea that gets you ready for bed. First off, let's go jump on the scale and see exactly what I weigh here Wednesday afternoon. We'll go along every day, count the progress. I go through about 3,000 calories, I would say, on an average day, just eating, drinking, snacking, doing everything that we typically do. So jumping on the scale, I weigh 188.7 pounds. Let's find out exactly how much weight I lose. Every day we'll go through the scale in the same time each afternoon so that you can keep track along with me and see if this is working or not. And if you wanna take this journey, please leave some comments down below on how you feel when you're finished with your fast as well. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe notification and that bell. That'll let you know as soon as I post other videos. Let's get this fast on the road. All right, I'm about 24 hours through the fast so far. I'm on Thursday afternoon. We started Wednesday afternoon. My last meal was actually a smoothie at three o'clock. My growth hormone has started to go up dramatically in the first 12 hours after fasting. Autophagy is the next thing that kicks in around that 18 hour time frame. It's so amazing. The cells themselves start to recycle and your old cells start to rebuild. Amyloid level in my brain, the hard metals, the things that cause the dementia, Alzheimer's, those start to get cleaned out and the old damaged proteins, obviously wanna get rid of those. The anti-aging properties that kick in after that 18 hours, my liver has been depleted tremendously and now it can start to function accordingly. My glycogen levels have been depleted, so my body is running right now on fat stores and ketones, a much better source of fuel than carbohydrates and the sugars that we typically do. The inflammation level's gone down tremendously, so if you have arthritis or any aches and pains, they start to leave your body after that 24 hour time frame. My heart is starting to regenerate itself and my blood pressure's gone down tremendously as well so my body as a whole is healing itself lastly the BDNF specific molecule in our brains that help it to regenerate is really starting to kick in at the 24 hours so my dendrites and my synapses and things that are firing in my brain right now are causing it to regenerate Lord knows I need those dendrites regrown and my brain to function as healthily as possible so there's a tremendous amount of healing powers that have taken place over the last 24 hours so let's jump on the scale now and we'll see exactly what's gone on in the last 24 hours. Woohoo! 3.4 pounds one day. Insane. The first 24 hours my body was burning all of that excess gl glucose and glycogen and now it's really starting to hit those fat cells. So we'll see what happens over the next two, three, four days here and what that weight loss actually looks like. All right, I've just passed my first 48 hours on this fast. No food for the last 48 hours and it's starting to get challenging. I'm uh, feeling a little bit more fatigued um, than I was yesterday. My sleep last night wasn't as good. I did some exercise. I did a little bit of stretching. So my muscle 
strength is still going really well, but I have noticed that I'm becoming a lot more in tune with my senses. Um, I can smell a lot more acutely. I've been drinking probably six or seven glasses of water I did yesterday and probably four or so glasses of tea. I'm actually drinking filtered water that is a little bit more basic than typical water. It goes through the filtration system. Ah. Uh. I do know that the cell regeneration is going on and the human growth hormone is obviously getting re released at a, a much higher factor. I know that with the uh, stem cells starting to come into play as well, that my body's rejuvenating. I can definitely feel the tightness in my stomach. Body now is burning those fat cells and hopefully releasing them through my pee and everything else. I did poop yesterday one time, which was a small bowel movement, but I, I doubt that I'll probably see any more uh, for the next couple of days. That's kind of the story for the first 48 hours. I'm two days through this, got three more days to go. You'll see that most people recommend talking to your doctor before doing something like this. But I also too would think that you'd probably want to speak to somebody who's more in tune with the science, who understands things better, and who can inform you personally on what they would do and how they would do it so that you can get the same or if not similar results. We'll check the scale, see what the body weight is. We are at 183.7. We'll see how the sleep goes and how I feel tomorrow. Um, I'll also keep you updated on how strong or weak I feel. Otherwise, we'll continue to move forward and see how this whole process goes. Alrighty, it's Saturday. We're 72 hours into the fast. Yesterday was a pretty extensively difficult day for me. I felt lethargic for most of the day. I drank probably, I don't know, two gallons worth of water, probably five or six glasses of green tea just to satiate my appetite a little bit. But now that we're getting into that 72nd hour, I'm starting to feel a lot better. No hunger pangs at all. And I'm really starting to get a lot more energized. I want everyone to realize that it's difficult to get through those first 48 hours, probably into the first three days, but after you do, my stomach started to feel a lot different and now I'm not hungry at all. And when I wander through the kitchen and I see an apple or the bread sitting out or something like that, I'm like, oh, it looks good, but I still have a couple of days to go. So there are a lot of things that are going on. You know, obviously there's the HGH, the human growth hormone that's getting released more and more. The autophagy, which is regenerating those cells that are either in bad shape or that need to be completely taken out. The stem cell regeneration now, which is really starting to kick in. I do notice that I have a very heightened sense of awareness when it comes to smell, the taste sensation. I can almost taste things um, in the air. You know, when we were Neanderthals and we had to get food and we went through extended periods of time when there wasn't any food available and you really started to get that heightened sense of hearing you know when you see something rustling you think oh okay that's probably a snack or that could be food somewhere the hunger pains have really just completely dissipated and I do feel a lot better today than I did yesterday so after three days it's time to jump on that scale and see exactly where we weigh nice 181.8, the glycogen's gone, the ketones are kicking in, and the fat is hopefully burning away. So it's Sunday, day four of the fast. I'm about 100 hours into it, and a synopsis of yesterday. I got to sleep around midnight or so, woke up this morning at about 6.30. Got some stretching in, decided to test my strength this morning and got some exercise done. Got actually 51 push-ups in, which is a pretty good amount for me. I think a lot of it had to do with um, my reduced body weight, so was able to do more body weight exercises. And then I did some ab exercises for about 10, 12 minutes or so just to see if my physical strength was still there. Obviously it is, and I'm doing an amazing job so far. I did get a little bit tired this afternoon. I got about a two hour nap in. Otherwise, been watching football, been drinking a lot of tea, drinking a lot of water as well. I do have to say that green tea has really helped me get through these last couple of days. It really 
helps to decrease the hunger pains. Although as of the last probably 48 hours or so, I haven't been hungry. I do think that the benefits of fasting far outweigh the downfalls. My body is obviously losing a lot of weight. It's regenerating a lot of cells. The white blood cells are obviously getting replenished and there's a lot more that goes into it than just the fact of losing weight. So I'm excited to get into this day five though um, coming up and I can't wait to hopefully be able to start eating again but the last four days have been fantastic and now we can check the scales again and see where we stand and 178.6 nice 10 pounds off already Ooh, yes it's monday i'm five days into the fast it's been over 120 hours and i am done I feel pretty good right now, a little bit sluggish, but other than that, everything is going well. So what's next? I'm gonna have myself some organic bone broth, which sounds like crap, but everybody who's an expert said that that's the best way to break your fast. It's full of collagen, helps to coat the stomach and gets you back into that feeding phase that we're hopefully all used to. It's been quite a journey. Um, I have lost a lot of weight. I feel pretty good about myself. I know that I've got the mental stamina in order to be able to make it through this. I feel that everybody should at least go through a 24 hour fast just to feel it, see how it treats you. It'll make you feel a little bit different about food. You'll get those hunger pangs, but at the same time, there's no need to eat anything if you don't want to. And a strange thing that I did find out after going through this entire thing is the longest fast on record is over one year. It's insane. One guy did not eat anything for over a year and he lost so much weight. I believe it was over 200 pounds. I'll put a uh, link on there uh, so that you can see exactly what went on, but that just kind of blows your mind Anyway, I'm gonna hop on the scale and do a quick body reveal so that you can see Exactly what I weigh after this five-day fast and what my body has transformed into Woo! 177.1 Excellent Over 11 and a half pounds five days I did notice that I'm starting to see some abs, which is nice. And I usually don't see that unless I'm under 8% body fat. So my body fat is definitely melted away a lot. I feel pretty good about myself right now. And I, I think that it's just a, an amazing feeling to make it through five days with no food. Make sure that you stay toward the end of this. And if you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be great, just like it, and I'll continue to make more videos like this and continue to share my health goals as I make my way through this crazy thing called life. It's time to conclude the video. I'm gonna go through four final thoughts. First off, what I drank each day and about how much of that, my schedule on a daily basis, how much sleep I got and how I felt every day, and finally, my exercise routine. So let's hop right in. So what I started drinking a lot more of was green tea. It kept my appetite suppressed. I did drink a lot of water, typically eight glasses, sometimes more than that, glasses of water each day, 16 ounce glasses of water. I did have some pu'er tea, which is more of a caffeinated black tea. When I needed some electrolytes, when I was feeling kind of down, I put a little spruce of pink Himalayan sea salt into my water. I also too used a teaspoon or so of aloe vera gel. I did go to the bathroom a lot, typically six, seven, eight times a day. I probably had three to four or five glasses of tea, just depending on how my appetite was. Tried to stop drinking about two hours or so before bedtime. Tried to get in bed, usually between 10 o'clock at night, sometimes as late as 11, 11.30. I got up in the morning usually between six o'clock and seven o'clock. Try to get in my exercise each day. Some typical yoga stretches, yin yoga, a lot of relaxed stretching exercises. I like to get outside right when the sun gets up each day to get some vitamin D. Once I was back, I could get some reading in, I could start work, uh, I could work all the way through the day. And then at the end of the day, I would 
usually hang out with the kids and relax and watch some television shows and have a couple more glasses of tea or glass of water and hop in bed. My sleep for the most part was pretty good. I got in bed, could fall asleep within usually 10 to 15 minutes and then got up in the morning, felt pretty refreshed for the most part. I did get a sense where my body felt much better as far as aches and pains went. I didn't have the same inflammation in my joints. Last thing I wanna add is I got a lot of benefit out of Dr. Eric Berg's information and videos. You can find him on YouTube and he's got a fantastic website. I do highly recommend, even if you're just trying intermittent fasting, to go through a couple of weeks or a month of intermittent fasting to see if it works for you. It makes you feel fantastic. Obviously the weight loss is there, the cell rejuvenation, Everything that they talk about in the videos and online is definitely true. I do highly, highly recommend it. To finish up, here's to you and your health goals. If you try fasting, enjoy the journey. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos.